Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Gianna or as you know me on social media, the Society of a Gemini. I am back 2018 ready to film videos again. So this is the very first look of 2018. Oh my goodness. I had you guys vote on my Instagram and I said, do you want to see purple tones or do you want to see golden tones? And the response was overwhelmingly golden tones. We want to see golden tones. So that's what I did. I created this look right here so that I could go along with that golden tones theme. I am so excited to be back here on YouTube and I'm so excited that you guys are here with me. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, so to start off, I have bare skin um, with nothing on it. I did wash my face this morning, but still I like to start off with a makeup remover wipe. I feel like it helps just really make sure there's nothing on my skin to start with. Um, and gives me like a fresh base. The skin is clear now. Um, I start and put some Vaseline on my lips because we're going to be wearing a Kylie Jenner lip kit later. And anyone who's ever tried Kylie Jenner's lip kits know that they can be very drying on your lips because they literally are meant to just like dry down so fast. Now we're gonna go in with our primer. We're gonna use the Becca backlight and we're gonna use the Professional by Benefit. All right, now we have our primer. And um, another pro tip, let your primer sit. I know so many people that always will just put straight, like their foundation straight on their primer right after but you need to like let the primer sit, let the primer absorb into your skin. Otherwise, it's not really gonna get a chance to do its job. So I like to let it sit for like a minute or two and kind of like, just like settle in, let it do that. Now that we've let our primer settle into our skin a bit, we're gonna go in with our foundation. Now, I used to be the biggest beauty blender user when it came to foundation. Like that was my go-to, that's what I did. I always wanted to use a beauty blender until I got this beautiful baby. It is a Morphe brush. It is the M439. It is one of their most popular foundation brushes, if not the most popular. It is talked about in multiple YouTubers. Like people just love it. It's a great brush. And for me, I have found that I love the coverage on the brush way better than I did on my Beauty Blender. Not to say I do not use my Beauty Blender anymore because I definitely still use it, but in addition to the foundation I've been using, which is the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation in shade 3.25. So this, with this brush, is magic. It's heaven, honestly. So I take my foundation, which the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation, FYI, if you go into Sephora or anywhere else to buy it, I would suggest going to Sephora to buy it because Sephora, you can actually like sample out the shades, like look how they look on your skin. They just think that that's a better idea. But this does oxidize a bit. So you definitely want to let it dry before you fully like say, oh, okay, this is my shade. So you have to shake it a little bit. And then I take my brush, which is it's a little dirty, but don't mind that, it's fine. Um, and then I put one, two. Two pumps on the back of the brush, looks like that. And then I kind of dot it around so there's not all just one chunk of product on my skin at once. And then I take it and I start to blend in to my skin. Okay, now that our foundation is on, just like we did with the primer, you wanna let your foundation sit a little bit because it needs to like actually stick to the skin. Otherwise, when you start trying to apply powders and stuff like that, it might just come off a little bit and I don't want that. So we're going to move on to our eyes. All right, so I'm gonna start with this brush, which is just a kind of a fluffy-ish brush from Morphe. It's from one of their sets. I believe it's the Sable set. It's like one of the first, no, it was the first brush set I ever got. And some of the brushes from the set have made it and lasted and some of them have been, have had to been tossed because 
they didn't make it but it was a great starter so this is the brush I'm gonna set with it doesn't have a name on it or anything it's just some kind of a fluffy brush but I'm gonna go in with this shader right here it's called unity and it's from the Anastasia Beverly Hills prism palette so I'm gonna go in with unity tap it in a little bit Get that excess you see that little dust off and then I'm just gonna brush this all over my lid and my orbital bone because I just want it's a nice base. It matches my skin tone okay, so it will just make a nice base for blending in all the other shadows, which today we are doing that golden toned look that you guys voted for on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you uh, should because I ask questions all the time about what you guys want to see and film, and I am on there all the time. Instagram is like my main go-to social media. So I will have that in the description below, but you should follow me so you can vote on the next video. Um, yeah, I gave people the option between purple tones and golden tones and golden tones won by a landslide. It was like 90% to 10% or something like that. And it was a ton of people voted for golden tones and like hardly anyone voted for purple tones. Um, not to say though, I couldn't, I can still do a purple tones video if, for those of you that voted for it, if you want to see that, let me know, comment down below. I'll put it up on my Instagram again, see what other videos you guys want to shoot. If you have any ideas or any kind of like, things of like, I want to see this, I want a video just detailed on this, then just let your girl know because I have my own ideas, but at the same time, I want to hear what you guys want too. Now that we have unity on both lids and see creates a nice even base, you're gonna go in with a fluffy blending brush. Doesn't matter, it's whatever you have. Today I'm gonna go in with the Morphe M441, which is a goodie. I love Morphe brushes, I do. I think they're very affordable and I think they're great, especially blending brushes like this. But I also have total cheap knockoff brushes. I mean, these aren't expensive either. This is probably like $6 for this brush. But I have cheap knockoff ones too that work great. So whatever fluffy brush you have works for you. I'm gonna go in with this one and we're gonna go into the Modern Renaissance palette and we're gonna start with Raw Sienna, which is right here. It is one of my favorite transitional shades. I am obsessed with it and I love it. And it's also one of the reasons that the Modern Renaissance palette is one of my favorite palettes of all time if not my favorite. I don't know that it's my favorite anymore. It's a real toss up between this and the Prism palette because I love them both. Either way, Anastasia Beverly Hills, you're doing it right. Okay, so we're gonna go into Raw Sienna, dip our brush in there a little bit, and then tap off that extra because we don't want to be ridiculously overly done, you know? And then we go in and you're just gonna do your windshield wiper motions, windshield wiper motions. And just get a nice transitional shade going for when we go in with our deeper browns and more golden <laughs> deeper browns and more golden tones see just a little little oomph. go on with raw sienna again on the other eye so with the next color we're gonna go into is going to be from the modern renaissance palette and it is called antique bronze it's right here and it's kind of like a brownish purplish tone, but it's got some shimmer in it and I like the way it blends out. So I'm gonna go in with another fluffy brand, another fluffy blending brush. Say that five times fast. This one is from Morphe, but it's from one of their brush sets, so it does not have a name on it. It is just a plain white fluffy brush. So I'm gonna go in and we're gonna deepen our crease with this tone, with this color. And it, it kind of goes with our themes. It's that bronzy golden tone. We're also gonna go in with some more browns and we're gonna do a very, very gold eyelid when we're done too. I'm gonna go back in with more antique browns on the other eyelid or not eyelid. Our crease. Silly. I can't talk sometimes.
Okay, now that we have blended out the antique bronze, we want to go in with another fluffy blending brush. I know, you're like, how many fluffy blending brushes do you have? I have a lot because I asked for more for Christmas and I got them. Um, this one is, it says BS Mall basically on it. It is a cheap brush set that I got from Amazon. If I find the brush set again, I will link it down below, but it is a pretty good brush set and it was only like 10 bucks, I'm pretty sure. So I'm a fan of it. Um, this is just like a little, another fluffy blending brush. And I'm gonna go in with the color Parallel from the Prism palette. It is a very pretty color that I love very much. It's kind of like a rich, warm brown. And when you're doing golds, I love warm browns because I feel like it really helps bring it out in your eyes. So I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna do this outside V of my eyelid and my where my crease meets. I'm just kind of go in that V motion, go back and forth, back and forth, you know? We're creating more depth in the crease as well as it's gonna look really pretty when we have that gold on the lid. Don't worry if you can't get it perfect the right time if you at the first time. Don't get worry if it's a little, you know, a little messy or whatnot because you can fix that later. And just the most part is you want to try to get that dimension and that depth you're looking for. Go in with more parallel on the other side of the eye. Okay, once we have blended in our color parallel from the Prism palette, this is where you're going to kind of clean up these edges if they're a little off. This is where you uh, fix some of your mistakes. Because trust me, I did not start off perfect and they're not even perfect right now. I got a little cleaning to make that really smooth transition. So what I'm gonna do is take a clean blending brush. This is the Morphe 4333. Nope, 4333, not 4333. And I'm gonna go back in um, with a little bit of Unity that we used in the beginning to start off with our shade from the Prism palette. And I'm also gonna go in on top of that Unity and go in with Tempora from the Modern Renaissance Prism palette. So we're gonna dust off a little bit of that. Then you're gonna take that and you're just gonna go and blend over the edges over the top. Go with the edges, go again with Unity and Tempora. And then we're gonna go and blend over the edges. Once you've done that, you might have lost a little pigment in the places that you wanted to. You go back in with your M441 brush or whatever brush you used for raw sienna. See, it's got a still a little bit of product left on it. And then you again, just go in and blend. Kind of blend everything out, blend it out, get that nice. Blend it out, blend it out. Once you've gone through and blended out those edges so that to your liking, this is about where I like it, it's good. It's okay, it's fine, you know? As long as it looks good to you, that's all that matters. If you like it, that's all that matters. So now it's time for do our sparkly lid. We're gonna do our gold, bronzy, beautiful golden tones. And so you're gonna go in with a flat brush of some kind, doesn't really matter what it is. I'm gonna go in with this brush. It is a generic, flat, like a concealer style brush. And what I'm gonna do is go in with, we're gonna use two goldeny shades today. So we're gonna use one from the Modern Renaissance palette and one from the Pyramid palette. Pyramid palette? One from the Prism palette. The color that we're using from the Prism palette is called Pyramid. And the color that we're using from the Modern Renaissance palette is called Primavera. So we're gonna go in and what you wanna do is take whatever setting spray you use. This is the Mario Badesco Skincare 
facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. That is a mouthful. So we're gonna go in and spray our brush a little bit. You can use whatever you have, whether it's Fix Plus or an e.l.f. spray or what, whatever you have. So first we're gonna go in with Primavera from the Modern Renaissance palette. And the reason why we wet our brush is because shadows like this, these kind of like foiled shadows or shimmer shadows, they just go on so much better when you have them a little bit wet first because I feel like they go on smoother and you get more of that desired color you're looking for. So I go on and I just kind of gently blend it into where we had that outer V of um, parallel. Yeah, it was parallel. When we had the outer V of parallel and you just go in, you get that beautiful shimmer. You see that? So we go in more with Primavera and go on with the other eye. You blend all the way out, just a little, then just kind of blending it into where that brown was, not all the way over it, but you know. Okay, now we have Primavera on our eyes, as you can see. Go back in with that same brush, wet it one more time if you need to. Um, and you don't want to soak the brush, but just a little bit. And then we're going to get, oh, and go into Pyramid, which is this beautiful golden tone. This is the one that's going to go, wow, when you put it on. You're just going to love it. Okay, you're going to go in, and we're going to start not all the way in, but like right here where you have like a third of the eye. Oh, like a, th go from like a third over and... That's where we're going to put this golden shade. And then if you really want to add like that real goldenly golden pop, you can take your smallest little finger and put it in Primavera, just kind of rub it around and get that gold shade. And then just apply it to the center of your lid. You see you get that more poppy gold that you were looking for. Yeah, that gives us that more. And after you go in with your finger, you take that same brush you were using and just kind of blend out the edges again. You have that goldenly, that golden tones look we were looking for. Now that we have our golden tones, we have our shadow pretty much done, we're gonna go in and do some gel liner. You can do whatever kind of liner you want to make a cat eye. I personally am more of someone who likes gel liner. I've never been a fan of liquid liner. I feel like it's just too all over the place for me. It's too unpredictable. We're not on good terms, me and liquid liner, so we're gonna go gel. We're gonna do a gel liner. And you can use like whatever brush suits you or that you like. Um, I'm personally like the smaller the better kind of thing for me. So this is a, again, it's from that Amazon brush set that I'll link below, but it's a very, very, very tiny, tiny brush. You see that? Very tiny. And we're gonna go in with our gel liner. So we have, today we're gonna use the NYX gel liner. It's the NYX gel liner and smudger. Um, I really like this. It's pretty inexpensive. I think it's only like six or seven dollars at Ulta or a drugstore wherever you can get it. Um, I get a lot of my drugstore stuff at Ulta because they sell it and we have a pretty nice size Ulta where I live. Um, but you can use whatever. So I have this. It's actually, I've had it for a little while now. I go in and I love to have this very tiny, tiny brush because I feel like just works better than most things. Um, one of my favorite things to do though is, so I have like one of these little ceramic dishes. I got this at World Market for $1.49. I still have the little price tag thing on it. And um, I like it because I like that I can kind of warm up the 
liner, I can kind of smooth it out on my brush and warm it up in the dish and then go in to get that more precise line. Now let's see. don't talk much while I'm doing my liner because I feel like I have to like hold my breath <laughs> and hope and pray for the best because it's still the most terrifying thing you know also because I don't want to mess it up because if I mess it up then it's like my whole eyeshadow is ruined and that sucks <laughs> so I try to like really focus that is a lot better like I said it doesn't have to be perfect perfect because we are gonna put lashes on so that kind of will co help cover up a few mistakes that we've made along the way liner is never quite perfect for me it really is um, all right now that we've done that I would say that it is time for our eyebrows we got to go in with the eyebrows um, now everyone uses something a little bit different. It's totally up to you what you like to use. I used to use the pencil from Anastasia um, and that was one of my faves for the longest time. Um, but then I actually started using the Dip Brow Pomade and I am a much bigger fan of this now. Um, I use the shade Granite because my hair is black AF, um, clearly, <laughs> and I didn't need to use the darkest shade. so. I go in and I dip, I have this little brush, it's a cheap brush, you can get it, it's a small pencil like liner brush on one side and then a spoolie on the other. And it's also from that Amazon set that I told you guys about earlier. So again, take the same dish that I had my liner in and I find just a clean spot of white area and I brush on and flatten out the brush like I did with my liner brush right here and this is the part that for me is easier because see I have my brows are pretty thick and then there's little sparse hairs here that are filled in and um, I just go in and I do the tails first So you do the tails, just kind of let it flick at the end so that it's not super thick. And then I go in and I kind of start to fill in the rest of the outline of the brow. And I really try to focus the most product on the outside of my brow. Because my insides, because I already have that hair, I just kind of want to just lightly fill them in. I don't want them to be absurd because that's when they start looking super, super fake and I don't want that. So I just do light strokes when I start getting closer to the inner part of my brow. Do like hair-like strokes up at this part. And just very lightly let that kind of fill in on its own just a little bit. And I'll take the end of the spoolie once I've slightly filled in the front and kind of 
brush through a little bit. So then I get that more like natural in the front brow. Okay, now we go in with the other side, do the same. Now that I have gone in and I have done my brows, I'm gonna go and I'm going to put mascara on so that it dries before I have to put lashes on at the end. Lashes are always like the last thing I do. No, lashes are the second to last thing I do because I do my lips always last. We still have that Vaseline on our lips, keeping them moisturized for before we put that Kylie Jenner lip kit on. Okay, now we're gonna go in mascara. Um, lately, I have been using this Tarte Rainforest by the Sea. Nope, not Rainforest by the Sea. I've been using this Tarte Amazonian Clay Smart Mascara. I got it in one of their holiday sets from Sephora. And this has kind of been the go-to. And I actually kind of like bent the little brush a little bit so that it's kind of See how it's kind of bent so that it fits better to my lashes, but I just go in. So now that our foundation has dried down, I actually like to go in with my concealer after the fact. I feel like it works a little bit better to do it that way. And I just do it lightly because I just want a little tiny bit of brightness underneath my eyes. So I take one of my beauty blenders and uh, I spray a little bit of setting spray on it, a little Fix Plus or whatever you use. Mine's the Mario Badesco. And then I just go in and I kind of blend out. By the way, I was using the Tape Shape Concealer in the shade Light Medium. So now I've kind of brightened up my under eyes a little bit, giving them a little more color, a little more something, a little oomph. And now I'm gonna put a little tiny bit of powder on them. Not a lot. I take this little uh, Real Techniques brush. It's their contour brush. But I actually love it for powder. I feel like it works really well for powder. I feel like that's kind of the uh, the thing I love to do. So I'm gonna dip into a little bit of um, RCMA No Color Powder. That's kind of been my go-to lately. Um, I like the Laura Mercier setting powder too, but lately it's just been all about the RCMA, for me at least. So just kind of pat it in and set those little cheeks. Blaze, lay down, Bubba. So now we've done that, I'm gonna go in and let's do a little uh, little contouring. So I'm gonna go in with this Morphe 9C palette and I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. Tap off my extra and go in and blend. Go in on the other side and do the same thing. Now let's pick out some blush for today. I, for blush, I like using this Real Techniques um, buffing brush, but it is my favorite for blush. You know what, I think I'm gonna go with an oldie buddy goodie, which is Milani in Luminoso. And this has a little bit of shimmer to it, a little shine. We'll just kind of lightly get our cheeks in there and 
rose them up a little bit. Obsessed, in love, looks great. Okay, now let's go on to highlighter. We're going to go with Makeup Revolution Triple Baked Highlighter in Golden Goddess. And we're going to be using a M310 fan brush from Morphe. Look at this, how cute, right? We're gonna go in with this brush. Really just go ham because you just highlighter, we don't hold back on our highlighter. You see that? You see that yellow, that goldenness right there? Okay, okay, okay. Now we're going somewhere. We have our highlighter. We have our eyeshadow, we have all of this, and now we are gonna go in with our lashes. So for today, we're going to be using, we, me, I'm gonna be using the Ardell Demi Wispies. They are my favorite lashes of all time. I think that they are amazing. A pack like this is like 10 bucks at Ulta, um, and I love them. And I feel like they're the best drugstore lashes out there, period. So we're gonna go in with our beautiful lashes and we're going to uh, rock those today. This is what we're going to be doing. I'm gonna get my liquid glue and this is the Duo Dark Glue. I think the dark glue is great because it uh, blends easier with your liner especially because it's not like just white glue because the clear glue doesn't really dry down clear like they say it will. It just doesn't. They're lies. It doesn't dry down glue. It doesn't dry down clear at all, actually. It's actually not, uh, it just doesn't work like that. So we're gonna do, take our little uh, tweezers. That's how I like to apply lashes, is with tweezers. Um, everybody applies them differently, but I'm a tweezer person. So we're gonna take one of our little demi lashes and we're going to take our duo glue and see it's dark. And then we're just gonna brush it onto our lash. Let the glue dry just for a minute, just for a little bit, because we want it to get tacky. Um, we don't want it to just be really sticky, we just want it to get tacky so it will stick onto the lash. Kind of brush it out. And then we're gonna go in, ready? And then boom, lash is on and applied. Kind of go in like this, just ever so gently kind of push them up. Boom. All of a sudden, I have lashes. You can tell the difference between the sides. Okay, now let's go in and we're gonna do the other lash. Can't get over that highlight, dang. Now it is just time for our lips. So I still have a little bit of Vaseline on them. So what I do is I'll take just like a makeup wipe or whatever and kind of wipe the excess Vaseline. They're definitely 
softer because of the fact that we put the uh, Vaseline on them. And we're gonna go in with Kylie's Lip Kit in Butterscotch. Um, I'm a big fan of Kylie's Lip Kits, especially when it comes to the fact that she has these really beautiful kind of uh, just avant-garde colors. Colors you're not going to find like <laughs> anywhere else, you know? And I love them especially because it's like you're getting the like liner too. I think that's the hardest thing is you can buy a really beautiful lip color and there's so many different ones. But Kylie's is the only one that comes with like the exact match of lip liner, which is, you need that, especially with a color like this, which is kind of like this yellow, goldeny, it's really just like butternut squash color. So I'm gonna go in with our liner first. We'll go and do our Cupid's bow. Start with our Cupid's bow. Do our little X like that. Okay, once our lips are lined, we're gonna go in with our liquid lipstick. Okay, I'm going to go off camera and fix my hair and then we will be back with our golden tone perfect complete look. All right guys, so this is our final look and I must say I am pretty in love with it. I love the way it looks. I love the way my eyes look. Um, these golden tones are, I am so here for them. This butternut squash lip by Kylie, perfect, obsessed. Um, I just want to say I'm so excited to be back on YouTube. I'm so excited to be making these videos again for you guys. I'm going to try to upload weekly, so fingers crossed that it happens. That's the New Year's resolution, post weekly on my channel. I just, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited for this. And if there's anything that you guys want to see, let your girl know. Comment below, comment on my Instagram, hit me up. Just let me know what you guys want to see because I want to make new videos and I'm I'm so here for all sorts of different ideas um, for challenges for different makeup looks for whatever you guys want to see it just let me know I hope to see you guys in my next video which will hopefully be next week and um, thanks for watching bye